Good morning. It's Monday, May 11th, 2020, and I'm NASA's Leah Cheshire. Welcome to the International Space Station Flight Control Room here in Houston, Texas at NASA's Johnson Space Center, where we have live views of Northrop Grumman's Cygnus resupply spacecraft. Today we'll be preparing for the departure of this spacecraft from the International Space Station, where it has been on board since February. Cygnus was previously attached to the space station's Earth-facing side of the Unity module until about 7.40 a.m. Central Time this morning when flight controllers here used the space station's Canada Arm 2 robotic arm to unbolt Cygnus from that Earth-facing port. They maneuvered the vehicle over the next few hours into this position, the release position where we see it right now. Release commanded. and the release of Cygnus has been commanded. Those latches are now in motion, preparing to release the vehicle. And we copy all. Snares open, begin monitoring for drift out. And at 11.09 Central Time, as Cygnus and the International Space Station were flying 260 statue miles over the Pacific Ocean, we have release of the spacecraft. Station Houston on two, back away complete. Four and work. Copy. And that was Capcom Steven Zenter confirming that the back away of the Canada Arm 2 is now complete. Cygnus depart commanded. We copy and see the same. And as Cygnus is flying free, we have confirmation the spacecraft's three-minute departure burn is underway. Station Houston, Cygnus departure burn is in progress. Monitor departure burn, step five in 1.602. Copy, step five and work. This departure burn will move Cygnus a safe distance away from the space station, crossing over the approach ellipsoid eventually. Once Cygnus exits the neighborhood of the space station, Northrop Grumman teams will take full control of the spacecraft to begin its secondary mission of the Sapphire 4 experiment and those CubeSat deployments. Approximately two minutes left of the departure burn. Station Houston on two, we concur. Uh, Cygnus departure burn complete. We now have confirmation that the departure burn is complete. That three minute burn continuing to move the spacecraft outside of the vicinity of the space station. Station Houston on two, Cygnus has exited the 200 meter keep out sphere.